Hi! In this video, we will review the Cycle Maker. The Cycle Maker window is down here and it is composed of two complementary commands called the Cycle Step and the Cycle Side. It's important to remember that our mirroring features, these features here, work if 1. The skeleton is correctly named. For more information on naming your joints, you can consult the Skin Atelier page of our wiki, specifically the mirror skin and joints part. In this file, I have chosen to name my joints underscore R and underscore L for left side at the end of my joint names. The second thing to remember is that the bind pose or ref pose of the skeleton was obtained via our rig mirroring process in order for these features to work correctly. When using the cycle maker, all you need is the first half step of your animation. So here in the animation window, you can see that I have four keys. I have my up key, my contact key, down key, and my passing position. Once you have your half step animation or your base keyframes, you can generate the second half step. So to do this, you simply select any joint from your character and you click on the cycle step button. The whole character will be processed no matter which joint you selected. So now here in my time bar and in my curve board, you can see that I have the second half step and it also shows here in my stacker. And here is my animation. However, the loop mode is not active, so we see a small jump in the animation when it ends. Up here in the stacker window, we have our loop mode and if you click on that it will create a last key which is a virtual copy of the first key that is pasted at the end of the animation. So now we have an animation that loops correctly and anytime I want to modify the first key then the last key will also be modified like so. Now you have a full cycle, however, there could be minor issues or changes that you want to make to your animation. For example, sometimes during this cycle step mirroring process, your junction keys might benefit from minor tweaking. Junction keys meaning the space between the last key made by you and the first auto-generated key, and also the space between the last auto-generated key and the first key made by you. To fix any issues that you might have, you will work on one full side of your character and then pass your modifications to the other side. All keys will be mirrored on the other side, but they will have one half step time shifted. So for this example, I will move my left arm so that we have a swing to it. like so. Maybe we can exaggerate the swing a little bit more 
so that it's a bit more noticeable. So you can see his arm doesn't swing as much, but it does on this side. And now I will go ahead and select the joints that I've made a change to. So if you've only changed a couple joints, you can select those, or you can select uh, the whole half of your character. And then you select the cycle side button. And now your other half of your character should have the change. So now you can see that my character's left arm is also swinging as far back as the right one. These two commands are really complementary. The first feature the cycle step allows you to generate your second half step while the second feature, the cycle side, allows you to fix any minor issues that were generated by letting you rework a side on the complete cycle and paste the changes onto the other side. By working this way you can produce a good animation cycle fast and you can create variations of your cycles. Also remember that concerning your IKs and your RFs, whatever you select, whether it be target, also known as controller, your joint chain, or your target and joint chain, full or part of it, you will always mirror the full chain according to the spine and the target will return to its leaf position. Now I will show you that you can easily create a root motion layer that will move your character forward. So to do this we will select our root and up here I will extract it to a new layer so that I have my root only in that layer. Everything else has remained here. And then I will change my keys so that I only have two so I'll delete these and remove my loop and I will make sure that my two is at the very end and now I will move my root forward in the C axis so here I will move it by 1.5 And now if I play, then my animation, you can see my character is walking forward. Uh, your character walks forward and you can see that they might, there might be some minor issues. Um, my foot kind of slides a little bit. And so what you can do is that you can go ahead and again work on one half of your character and use your cycle step or cycle side to fix your animations with this root motion. You can also use ghosting to look at your steps. But you might want to use them in the correct stacker. And if you turn your IK or RF off and on, then you can see that your curves will change. You can see that here. 
And that is your cycle maker.